all right my people welcome back on this one okay onto this aisha react after gani adams urged buhari to choose between self-determination and regional government okay well onto this as the 2023 presidential elections is fast approaching many political activists and then enthusiasts are starting to meddle in the country's political affairs all right, my people, until this moment ago, a new source on Twitter called Punch Newspaper shared a news in which Ghani Adams said that President Muhammad Buhari has to choose between Southwest self determination and regional government. Well, popular activist and businesswoman Aisha Yesufu reacted to this news on our Twitter page. All right. And onto this, according to Mrs. Yesufu, it is not for President Buhari to determine this. It is the legislative arm of government that makes such decision. All right, and then onto this, Mrs. Yesufu added that the legislative arm of government can override any president that doesn't give assent. She ended the tweet by suggesting that the legislative arms of government should be filed with those who can make such decisions all right so according to what she has said so far on our verified twitter page it says well it is not for buhari to determine this it is the legislative arm of government they can even override any president that doesn't give assent why not fill the legislative arm of government with those who will push this from state houses of assemblies to national assembly well this tweet is gaining a lot of attention as many people are reacting to it majority are in support of mrs yesufo's tweet they claim that it is not the job of the president to choose between southwest self-determination and regional government well my people well this is what we have gathered so far on to this one and then as it is prince bordering ajiboye i said well but in our kind of democracy today in nigeria the president has the final say you and i know that nigerians are not practicing the real democracy well if so things won't be as they are today in our world hmm. and then guests are said that well but during buhari regime the legislature in the country is rubber stamp slave to the executive all right so can somebody please tell us the fate of the electronic voting we hoped will bring some amount of transparency to our voting system all right and then this has been said by nathan or paraiche well this is our wanyanin and then we know we can't get it through the legislators this is because we don't have a credible constitution we only have the one forced down our throat by another military junters that have ruled the contraption in the past well i don't think it could come on a platter of gold it has to be by force all right oh, and then well my people many many comments keep coming in right now all right and then according to bishop joseph say well but he can choose between he can choose between grazing route and then open grazing if the president chooses anything he will sponsor a bill and the legislators will support him to pass the bill and he will sign it that's all wow that's another one well it is also gathered by guests that well i have been saying it that these people are educated but they are lacking wisdom <laughs> all right that has been said by guests all right majority of people are like hmm as far as this is concerned 
it is not the right of the president to do that and meanwhile some are like hmm with the kind of regime we have right now hmm this is not a democratic anymore anything can happen all right to and the genius chuku on those kozaro three onto this i said well do we have legislative arm of government confused now what we have is jobless and confused men assembly hey that's serious well not this present crop of legislators who are mere stooges and picked to serve the to serve the interest of the executive and exactly what it is well do we have such people not not at all all we have is greedy and rubber stamp politicians serving their pockets hmm, that takes me back to that level to which majority of them have refused to tell the truth simply because our pop simply because of a pot of porridge oh my goodness all right Ghani adams very correct please arabs cannot rule not again also as exposed thief origin hmm. this one has also been said by guests well absolutely correct aisha the legislative arm of government can even fire a sitting president via impeachment educate this dummy please all right okay this has been said by jumping jack flash well are you to dictate for buhari after the entire north feel like they are alpha and the uh, Omega, all right to make Ghani go find some place Sidano because no more pipeline security money. Now talks the duo. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. All right, my people, many things are being said unto this. Fear greed and the uh, fear greedy and the wickedness in the highest order of the legislative arm of the nation. All right, that was another one. Well, democracy is about the people and then what the people want for their good governance Danny adams made this offer because democracy is not being run fairly and then adequately by the current government of mr buhari let the nation remain one but regional governance is the best panacea in the present log, log jam and then near disintegration staring in the face the central and the federal government has been mad in the worst corruptive life since independence we the people got to stop this nonsensical rot as enshrined in the constitution of the federal republic well my people many things are actually been said onto this one and a lot of comments keep coming in well the fact remains that as far as this country is concerned majority of people have lost hope in this country and then that's exactly what it is right now my people what more can we say me well let me have your take on this one and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless